Uh, in question two, there is an expression, and then you are going to simplify it. Uh, before we start the question, I would like to uh, share one common uh, mistake first. Many students will mix up this kind of question to some other similar question like this, which is ask you to solve us uh, equations. In this kind of situation, you have e equal to zero, left hand side and right hand side, so you can do whatever you want. Left hand side and right hand side, they are still equal to each other. So 7x minus 6 and then also 5x minus 4. And then they will just simply think something like cross method. And then they will also think that it's okay to change our fraction directly like this. And then this is totally wrong. It seems like 1 over 3 minus 1 over 2. It should be equal to 2 over 6 and then minus 3 over 6. And then give you minus 1 over 6. But many students think that it's 2 minus 3 and then write down negative 1. This is definitely wrong. So your final answer we can expect that most probably it is still the fraction form. And then we can go back to this question. 3 over 7x minus 6, and then minus 2 over 5x minus 4. Uh, what we did in primary school here is give us idea what to do. First, uh, since the denominator are not the same, that's why we are going to multiply something without changing the values, and then to make it become the same format, same denominator. To do this, our target is 7x minus 6. We're missing 5x minus 4 here. So we both side times 5x minus 4. Also the numerator, we also times 5x minus 4. By multiplying the same value, we just changed the format, but we didn't change the values. The method two are still the same. So another term are the same. What is missing is 7x minus 6, so we both side times 7x minus 6. Then we just follow our decision. Now it's become the same denominator, that's why we can combine them. What about the fraction i is 3, 5x minus 4, and also negative 2 times 7x minus 6. One thing to remind you, don't forget to write down the bracket here. Uh, uh, because we are the whole thing times the whole thing here. Otherwise, for example, if you didn't write this bracket, I would think it's just negative 6 times this, but not 7x. So, the numerator, we just uh, simplify it. 15x, negative 4 times 3, 12. Negative 2 times 7x, negative 14x. Negative 6 times negative 2, so it gives you positive 12. We find that minus 12 and plus 12 becomes 0, so the answer is 1x in the numerator. And 7x minus 6 times 5x minus 4 below. Uh, many students think that it's equation and then make some other uh, changes. So the answer should be with a denominator, bracket 7x minus 6 times 5x minus 4.